Many years ago, my beloved wife, Marion, gave me this beautiful imported, uh, probably from Germany or Holland, um, workbench. And I, I've used it ever since. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. And it's uh, long enough for most projects. It's about six feet long, 22 inches uh, wide, which is plenty wide enough. And it comes with a shelf and a drawer and a couple of vices. And uh, we, we use it all the time. Now we're using it in the workshop here and it's a, it's a terrific advantage to have something of this quality. It comes with uh, bench dogs. These are called dogs. And uh, they, uh, they go, uh, I'll show you how it works. They go through a series of holes, depending on the length of the piece you're wanting to hold down. And if you wanted to work on this piece for some reason, you just take this adjustable vise and push it, and that pushes its dog against the opposing dog that's in this hole down in here, and so forth. If the length of the piece was going to be longer, then you'd use other dogs. Terrific, but it comes at a price. I mean, these things are now uh, 1500 or $2,000. And uh, we can't, can't have anything that expensive to use as a workbench, as useful as it is. So Norm came up with a very practical design made of common lumber materials that you could acquire at the home center. And uh, we've made several of them. This is one that we had in another part of the uh, workshop and was used primarily, until recently, primarily for storage. Things were kept on top of it, which is a a tragedy. These things should be worked on, not stored into. And uh, so it comes with a masonite top, which can be replaced at moderate cost. And uh, it can be uh, resurfaced or it can be painted as we did with this one because it was badly soiled. <laughs> and so we just gave it a co coat of our favorite beige paint and it looks, uh, it looks a lot better. But it's not for looks that we, uh, we like it. We like it because it's got that system of bench dogs that I talked about earlier. It unfortunately doesn't have the vise. The, uh, the main working part is here, but not the hole and the, the vise handle. That was given up to one of the other uh, pieces that we made like it and has now disappeared. But you get the idea and you'll see more of that if you watch the video that Norm makes of how to build this workbench. And I can tell you from long experience, with a workbench, you could build all of the new Yankee projects. And uh, I don't know what the alternative is, uh, but uh, you, you should have a workbench like this uh, to uh, execute your finest pieces. Here in our workshop, the bench shows a lot of use, and for good reason. I use it every day for a variety of tasks. This one happens to be a West German import built out of red beech, which is a real hard material, and it's going to take that abuse that I give it every day. Plus, it's a very stable material, and this top is going to stay nice and flat for many years to come. But the most important feature of any woodworker's bench is the ability to clamp down pieces of wood. This one uses metal dogs, with springs so they can be held in all these different clamping slots, which gives me a variety of clamping positions. And on the other end, there's a vise with another dog, so that when I want to work on a piece of wood, I can set it in place, clamp it down, and I know that it's solidly held in place so that I can do routing, sanding, and I can even glue up some of the stock that I need for different projects. Another feature that I really like about this workbench is that it has a tool storage area and it's recessed so that the tools stay out of the way yet they're read readily available for me to use. That's all the nice features about this workbench. The bad news is that in reality this bench today retails for over $700. Now here's a version of the bench that I think the shakers would accept because it's made of readily available materials that are reasonable to buy. 2 by 4s some plywood, oak along the edges, with hardwood on the top to take all the abuse the bench is going to get. And it incorporates the same features, bench dogs, except this time made out of oak. And over on this end of the bench, a vise, an oak block 
for the other dog. And the only piece of hardware that I had to buy, this European bench screw, which was about $40. Also in the back of the bench, I've built in that recessed tool storage. So for about $120, we've got a bench that's going to last for generations. Now to get started on this, the first thing I want to do is make the legs. And I've datoed out the material here.